My name is Kotaro Abe, a uh, who is a lecturer, uh, Department of the Cardiovascular Medicine, Kyushu University, Japan, and I'm PI of this Kabuki trial. And I am Kazuya Hosokawa, cardiologist, uh, assistant professor from Kyushu University, and uh, I am a trial manager of this Kabuki trial. Annual incident of the uh, chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension (CTEF) is reported to be five per uh, one hundred thousand uh, population, and the estimated prevalence of the uh, CTEF in the general population is uh, fifty per a million. The Kabuki trial is the first randomized controlled trial designed to evaluate the efficacy and uh, uh, safety of edoxaban in CTEF. Our major uh, clinical guidelines recommend only a uh, warfarin as a uh, uh, standard anticoagulation in CDEF. But as you know, the uh, warfarin has some limitations, uh, dietary uh, restriction, drug interaction, and mandatory uh, blood monitoring. So uh, we believe this public study uh, provides the better choice of the uh, lifelong anticoagulation uh, in CDEF patient. Uh, there are two papers comparing the DOAX and vitamin K uh, antagonists, including warfarin. The first, we, we reported the uh, prospective observational uh, result from the Japan, Japan CTF registry in approximately 900 CTF patients. Uh, the mortality uh, rate and uh, the incident of the uh, symptomatic uh, venous thromboembolism and uh, the clinical worsening of CTF were comparable uh, between the DOAX and uh, warfarin. But interestingly, uh, the incident of the major breathing was lower uh, in DOAX. And uh, second, uh, the, an international prospective uh, survey of the CTF patient using a real sugar reported the risks of DOAX and uh, vitamin K antagonists, including warfarin. And this uh, study uh, the, showed a similar clinical mortality uh, and uh, uh, adverse um, breathing uh, events uh, between the DOAX and vitamin K antagonists. But uh, the rate of the venous thromboembolism was uh, higher in DOAX group. So uh, this existing evidence suggested that the uh, risks of the uh, breathing was not higher in DOAX, but the risks of the uh, thromboembolic uh, events was similar or higher in DOAX. The Kabuki trial was a uh, multi-center randomized, single-blind, uh, warfarin-controlled, non-inferiority trial. It was designed to prove the efficacy and safety of edoxaban compared to the warfarin in CTF patient. And the inclusion criteria were CTF patient with WHO functional class 1, 2, 3, on stable warfarin treatment. And the primary endpoint was uh, the ratio of pulmonary vascular resistance at 48 weeks to baseline. And the safety endpoint was the clinically relevant breathing, including major breathing. And the calculated sample size was 74 patients. In terms of baseline characteristics, 60% uh, were female, with an average age of 62 years old, and 44% met criteria of low-dose uh, use of edoxaban. And because the trial prohibited pulmonary endarterectomy or balloon pulmonary angioplasty, so all participating patients have previously undergone pulmonary endarterectomy or balloon pulmonary angioplasty. So at baseline, WHO functional class one or two was predominant, and uh, baseline six minute walk distance was greater than 450 meters, and average pulmonary artery pressure was uh, less than 20 millimeter mercury, and average pulmonary vascular resistance was less than uh, three wood unit. So in this trial, a study population was mild seated patient after uh, reperfusion treatment. The key finding is, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the primary endpoint was the ratio of pulmonary vascular resistance at 48 weeks to baseline. 
So the ratio was 0.93 in a doxaban group and 1.01 in the warfarin group. So the treatment effect of a doxaban was 0.92 and the upper 95 confidence interval was 1.03. The non-inferiority margin was 1.19. So the non-inferiority of a doxaban was demonstrated. In, the, in terms of safety endpoint, the clinical, clinically relevant bleeding was observed in 2.7% in a doxaban group and 5.4% in the uh, warfarin group. There was no statistical difference between the group and no symptomatic uh, venous thromboembolism and worsening CTF event and deaths were observed in any of the groups. So this trial demonstrated the non-inferiority of edoxaban to warfarin in terms of preventing worsening pulmonary hemodynamics with similar breathing risk compared to warfarin. The inclusion criteria was CTF patient on stable warfarin treatment. So this trial have a bias uh, in edoxaban group disadvantageous, but the trial demonstrated the clinically worst a clinical relevant breeding and uh, serious adverse event rate were lower in a doxaban group than in the warfarin group. So we believe a doxaban is safer uh, anticoagulant compared to warfarin in general CTF population. We hope that a doxaban benefit uh, many CTF patients taking warfarin. Thank you.